didn't realize I had a problem. I, I just thought I was normal. I just thought I was like everybody else. We would go out and have fun. We'd goof around around the house. And, and nothing ever seemed to be an issue. Until I discovered red wine. The, the staining, the, the, the color of, of my tongue, the, the, the smell coming out of my mouth. It was just, no one could handle it, especially my wife. There were a lot of nights I slept on the couch. I know every crease of that couch now. And you know what? It's, it's gotten better. It's gotten so much better. I've gotten my life back. I've gotten my family back. And you know why? Because of Why Not. These glorious discoloration lemon lime candies have just freshened my breath, taken away the mouth funk, and now everything is beautiful again. Thank you, Why Not. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on My Diamond. Today I'm reviewing a new product. These are the Wine Knots. And you might be looking at this box and saying, well, what the hell are they? Well, what the hell they are, are mints that freshen your breath after you've been drinking red wine. But they also have another trick. They decolor and like pull out all that red pigment that stains your mouth. So, let's try it. Like I've, I've, I've seen pictures where people have been posting them online. They look like they work. I haven't actually tried one for myself. So let's do a normal product review on this. So you get these nice little single serving packages with expiration dates and, and address on them as to where they're distributed by. You get a white tab that kind of looks like a slightly thinner version of a Tums. If you drink enough red wine, you probably know what a Tums is. And from a smell standpoint, they smell like they smell like those after dinner mints you get at the Olive Garden. Like they have that kind of almost candy-like um, lemon lime. Yeah, so it's like a mix up between that and Lemmy Shine. If you ever know what Lemmy Shine is, it's like that thing that if you have hard water, it kind of removes the hard water. We have really hard water here in San Antonio. We use Lemmy Shine in everything that we do basically in terms of washing dishes. So, um, it smells like an Olive Garden after dinner mint with a little bit of lemon shine. I don't know if technically that would be edible if you combine those things in real life. Before I get into the next section of the product review, I do want to say this is the before picture I took bef before I actually tried this mint out to see if it works. The way I achieved this, because I don't have a tongue that stains very easily, like my mouth does not show a lot of red wine discoloration. I don't know if it's because my everything is too badly stained already or I just have some sort of weird immunity to it. Regardless, this took a lot of effort for me to try to accomplish. This was three stout glasses of pretty heavy Malbec. And on top of that, I every drink that I took, I didn't just drink it. I let it sit in my mouth for anywhere between five to fifteen minutes on every one of those drinks of each of those three glasses. That's how hard it is for me to get my tongue to mouth stained. So, I'm hoping that this little lemon lime candy thing, this effervescent candy, by the way, um, fixes that problem. So let's see. Cheers. Okay, I'm about 10 seconds in. I'm definitely getting, it's starting to effervesce just a little bit. It really does taste like what exactly what I said it smells like. Kind of this all garden after dinner mint. A little bit of lemon shine. It's actually a little bit sour. Woo! The fizziness is starting to pick up. Just check back in about 30 seconds. Judging by the timestamp, um, about 30 seconds in, it's pretty sour. A lot of lemon lime. I can still handle it, but salivary glands are in overload right now. Whew. 
Very fizzy. Very fizzy. Okay, so. I've been about another 30 seconds. Now it's a third fall fit right now. I've been moving it around. Everything is fizzy. Not the worst thing I've ever had. It was not bad. Just when you've been drinking red wine and you pop in the lemon lime mint, definitely changes your palate direction. A hint of sweetness that pops up when you like kind of touch your lips. But everything inside the mouth is super sour. So when you see sour candy as a kid, it doesn't bother me. If you're not into sour things, it might be difficult for you to get through. All right, so now I have finished the mint. It took about a minute and a half for that everything to dissolve and kind of clear up. And um, here's the after picture. All right, so as you can tell by the after picture, um, they work. They worked on me. Um, one. I, I would have to drink a little bit of water or have a little tiny bit, a little bit of bread or something, uh, like a little oyster cracker or something, something that kind of cleans my palate with lemon lime. Um, but my mouth does feel fresh. I do feel like it pulled a lot of that um, residual sugar. The coloration is totally gone. And um, I'm not really getting any of the flavor notes I had that the Malbec was still kind of resting on my tongue. So they work. They actually do work. So if you're someone who just your significant other doesn't like red wine breath um well first find a new significant other second you might want to pick some of these up just to have in your back pocket they they, they work I'm, <laughs> I'm i'm legitimately surprised about it because i've seen a lot of things that say oh cleanses your breath and or removes the red wine xyz and and great for people i mean it's just like they i see so many things out there that advertise that they do what this does and they don't work but the wine knots work the wine knots work so congratulations wine knot um I did, you, you made a product that's great it's, I, I mean it, even as i'm talking here it's only it's only been about a minute even then the lemon lime is dying off if you give it probably five minutes after you've had one of these you don't even need to cleanse your palate right back out to making out with that random person who didn't like your red wine bread a few seconds ago. Anyway, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Wine Knots uh, Fresh Breathening and this coloration, this, this coloration candies? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.